I hope everybody's doing well during uh, whatever week of the quarantine we're in. It seems like it's been going on forever. We miss you guys. Um, but we're going to continue to talk about uh, the strong series that we're in. Last week we talked about remaining faithful by remembering what God has done for us in the past. We talked about the Israelites and how they would forget, but how important it is to remember the good things that God has done for us. Right, right. And uh, this week... We're going to do it a little bit differently because we're going to jump right into the, the text. We're going to jump right into our Bibles and, and start looking at what we read here in, in Joshua chapter 2. If you want to grab a Bible and, and read with us, Joshua chapter 2, and we're going to start reading with uh, verse 8. Here we, we're at the point where uh, the Israelites have approached Jericho and they're going to send in some spies and find out what they need to do and the spies are being taken care of by Rahab and starting with verse 8 uh, listen to, to what we read before the men lay down she came up to them on the roof and said to the men I know that the Lord has given you the land and that the fear of you has fallen upon us and that all the inhabitants of the land melt away before you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan, to Sihon and Og, whom you devoted to destruction. And as soon as we heard it, our hearts melted, and there was no spirit left in any man because of you, for the Lord your God, he is God in the heavens above and on the earth beneath. Now then, please swear to me by the Lord that as I have dealt kindly with you, you also will deal kindly with my father's house and give me a sure sign that you will save alive my father and mother, my brothers and sisters and all who belong to them and deliver our lives from death. And the men said to her, Our life for yours even to death. If you do not tell this business of ours, then when the Lord gives us the land, we will deal kindly and faithfully with you. Notice the reason Rahab goes out of her way to help these two spies. She's been hearing things. She's heard about the Red Sea. She's heard about the victories she's had over, they've had over formidable armies. She recognizes that these people are powerful. But most important, notice what this knowledge leads to. Rahab recognizing that the Lord truly is God. Yeah, and, the, and it's really just based on what she has heard about Israel. And, and I think that's fascinating because I find that to be a, an incredible reminder for us about how important it is for us to recognize that our influence on other people can be great. Um, through our actions, we can have a significant impact on other people. And the influence could be good or it could be bad. I'm Jackson. I'm a youth minister. Been doing this for about a year now. Get out of the way! Why are you going so slow? No one cares about your baby on board. That sticker's 12 years old. No cops, no stops. I just love people. I love the ministry. It's it's very fulfilling. <laughs> Look at this meme. Oh crap. Why are there no yield lights in this town? I especially get a lot of joy out of working with the kids. It's one of the main reasons I do it. Save the turtles. Really, I just want I just want people to know Jesus. Quick disclaimer, I drive very safely, no tickets, no I don't litter, I don't try to hit kids, so I'm a good driver. Trust me. I've driven the church bus safely many times. <laughs> right, right. Well, and the point of the video really is just to illustrate how easy it is for our actions to have an impact on other people and to influence the way people see us. And that might then influence the way they react to the things that we say to them or try to, to teach them. And it's not just the way that we drive, 
that has an impact on people. It's also uh, the way that we treat our coworkers, or the way that we treat our waiters and waitresses, or uh, especially in this day and age, uh, one of the things that we have to be very careful about is, is the way we interact with other people online. Yeah, that's right. Uh, because when we treat people poorly or when we say something negative on social media that we wouldn't normally say face-to-face or when we drive angry, it hurts our ability to help people come to know Jesus. And a lot of times those things that we do, we don't even recognize that it's distancing our ability to let others know about Jesus. Right. But the opposite's also true. Um, when we treat people fairly, we show compassion to those in need, uh, forgive those who hurt us instead of holding grudges or seeking revenge. Whenever we get past those things and we show people the good, we're increasing our ability to influence others about Jesus. Um, it's, it's when we do those things that gives us an opportunity to further our cause. Right, right. And, and, and people will begin to see uh, how different we are from the rest of the world. And, and just look at the impact that this uh, has on Rahab. Uh, because she put her faith in God, uh, not only is she saved from the destruction of Jericho and her family is saved from the destruction of Jericho, but when you turn over to Matthew chapter 1, what you find is that Rahab is actually one of only four women listed in Jesus' genealogy. And uh, so that's, it's incredible uh, how much of an impact uh, this had, just what she heard about the people of, of Israel. But for a more uh, recent example, I, I can't help but think about uh, Acts chapter 16. You know, that we find out about, or we read about the, uh, the Philippian jailer. And Paul and Silas are in prison and uh, instead of being miserable and complaining and yelling things at the jailer, they're in there singing. And in the middle of the night, an earthquake uh, breaks open the, the, the prison and they're, they're freed from their shackles. But instead of running away, instead of escaping at their first chance, they stay right where they are. And because of that, they have an opportunity to share Jesus with the jailer because the jailer was shocked at uh, their uh, unusually ethical behavior. Mm -hmm. And so the so Paul and Silas share Jesus with this jailer and they share Jesus with his entire family. And, and ultimately we see that his entire family is baptized into Christ just because Paul and Silas did the right thing in that moment and shocked uh, this jailer. So you might be wondering what this has to do with being strong. We want you to think about two things. Number one, think about who you could reach out to right now um, that, you, that could use some encouragement during this crazy times, especially if it's someone that hasn't treated you well. Um, maybe it's a coworker or a neighbor. Uh, consider showing them compassion like Jesus would. Uh, call them, message them. Make sure they're doing okay through this time. Maybe go out of your way to get them some toilet paper if they need it. Uh, and number two, remember that your faith in God is so much bigger than this virus. Uh, so while the rest of the world may be wrapped up in fear, wrapped up in panic, um, anxiety, let's show the world how much we trust God. We know that both of these challenges are going to require some strength on your part. They may not be the easiest thing for us to do, but we also know that we have an incredible opportunity, even in the, the current state of things, we have an incredible opportunity to bring people closer to Jesus through our actions, through our influence. Uh, so let's be an influence for good uh, in every way we possibly can. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon, and we hope that you've uh, benefited from uh, the, watching this video, and we'll see you soon. So long.